So we're being told that the border is secure. There is no crisis at the southern border. Alejandro Mayorkas is trying to gaslight the country by saying that the border crossings have gone down by 50% since Title 42 ended. The only problem with that is that everyone already knows that Alejandro Mayorkas is a complete and filthy liar. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the administration keeps repeating the line that the border is secure and everyone who hears it knows that they're full of crap. I honestly don't know how these people can go on television and look you in the eye and lie so easily. Here's Mayorkas telling CNN fake news host Dana Bash that border crossings are down 50% since Title 42 ended. You are getting regular updates from the southern border. What is the latest with regard to border crossings? And do you believe the surge has peaked? Dan, uh, over the past two days, the United States Border Patrol has experienced a 50% drop in the number of no encounters. No one believes that. Versus what we were experiencing earlier in the week. Can you believe that he said that? He's just blatantly lying. He forgets that just three days ago he was on NBC News on the Today Show where he answered a question about how he can explain the border, the unprecedented surge, when they had two full years to prepare for it. And you're not going to believe what his answer is. Give it a watch. Joining us now from Washington is the Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas. Mr. Secretary, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Thank you for having me. Let us not sugarcoat this. The Already you have a record number of crossings exceeding your own internal estimates. You have severely overcrowded detention facilities already. The president already. himself acknowledged this week it's going to be chaotic for a while. That's his word, not mine. My question to you is why? You have had two years to prepare for go. this. Why, is, why do we have this chaos and confusion at the border? Savannah, the answer is uh, very, very clear. We are operating within the constraints of a broken immigration system. There is unanimous. Can you believe that he said that? He said that it's the result of a broken immigration system. Guys, it is beyond reality. It denies belief in a benevolent being that he would say something like this. The Trump administration had solved the illegal immigration problem. We didn't have thousands upon thousands of illegals coming over the border every day under Trump. You cannot go from little to no illegals crossing to a number of illegals that could fill football stadiums since Biden came into office every day coming over the border. It's just too much for us to believe when Mayorkas and the other idiots in this failed administration say that it's a broken immigration system. What they really mean is that they can't get the millions of people into the country as quickly as they want to. That's what they mean by broken immigration system. Folks, that's exactly what they mean. They think that it should be easier for illegals to get processed into the country. Now, think about that. Instead of punishing them with deportations, these people in the administration are upset that they can't get them to a de facto amnesty quicker. Guys, it sounds like what they want to do is to allow illegal aliens who bypass the whole citizenship process. Like, we make it difficult to become a citizen intentionally because you have to really want it. You have to work for it. It costs money to become a citizen. And they just want these guys to just bypass that whole system, cheapening our citizenship. That is what they mean. Trump was building a wall. He created Remain in Mexico policy. He created Title 42 over COVID. He worked with the Mexican government to put their soldiers on their border with Guatemala. His administration made deals with Central and South American governments to stem the flow of illegals heading to our country. This administration tells bold-faced lies every chance they can. They have created hardships on the very people who come here. They travel through desert territories in blinding heat, and many of them don't make it here. We've heard the stories of young girls being given birth control by their parents because they know that their kids are going to be raped on the journey here by the cartel people. And then there are the people that this administration truly despise and don't care about at all. The American citizens 
especially those in border towns that are being overrun and completely devastated by the army of invaders that are coming into our country. But the problem is that for the first time in our history, the Biden administration has made it possible that every city in America is now a border town. Because they keep bussing and flying these people out to destinations unknown in the middle of the night like a drug drop off with Pablo Escobar. So the Biden administration keeps telling us that they're doing everything by the book and everything possible to stop this surge, even though they did absolutely nothing to stop the surge prior to the surge. They had two years. They are quietly right now fighting a judge's ruling that told administration officials that they cannot let illegals roam the country without giving them a court date. Isn't sending people who crossed our border illegally into the interior of the United States without a court date a de facto amnesty? If there's no court date, then what the hell is the point of releasing them into the interior of the country? Well, this has been nothing new because under the Obama administration, remember, When he had that surge of kids that came up from South America, people want to forget about that. Remember all those kids, like like over 150,000 children who came up, who later became most of them DACA recipients. Remember that? The dreamers, if you will. And around that time, Obama told his immigration judges to not file bench warrants on illegal aliens who did not show up for deportation hearings. You might say, but Rich, but Rich, Obama's in the executive branch and he can't tell judges what to do. Well, it's a little known fact that it just so happens that the immigration judges are not a part of the judicial branch. They work for the executive branch. Obama could tell them whatever the hell he wanted to because they work for him. So just like Obama sent illegals off into the wild in the United States without fear of being deported, so the Biden administration wants to send them off without even a court date. And it's being recorded that many of these migrants are getting court dates that go as far as seven to 10 years out. Folks, that's 2033. That's a 10 year visa for people who have broken our laws. That's insane. And that is what you get when you vote Democrats into power. And you think about it. If you want to come here legally for, say, a visitor's visa, you have to renew that every year. You have to actually come in for an interview and tell the government what the hell you're going to do while you're here. But you come over the border illegally, you get a 10-year stay with no worry about being deported. You have to ask yourself, why is the Biden administration doing this? They're not allowing millions of illegal migrants to come into the country because the law allows it, because it doesn't. That's not why they're doing it. Joe Biden has this media-created personality that he's a really nice guy and he's a likable guy biden is a prick and trust me he is not doing this to be nice to these people so i ask again why is the biden administration doing this why are they bringing millions and millions of people into the country and forcing us to pay for them it's the question you got to ask your congressman when you call them to complain All right, thank you for watching this video. If you want to support the channel, visit rpwmedia.com, sign up for our newsletter, read all of our stories, and share them with like-minded friends. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give us a like. We will see you in the next one.